All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Fern's What Is Art. I'm really happy to be able to explore together once again, um, and I hope you guys are enjoying the warm weather, staying safe, and staying positive. Which I will be giving you a few little details that you can do. To keep that kind of energy within yourself and your home. Thank you, and let's get started. Okay, materials. You will need our basic paper, pen, or pencil, and you are gonna need some found objects around your home. You you are not going to um, the found objects that you need should be small they should fit into your hand um and they could be things from the trash they could be things from nature they could be legos you're not going to damage them unless you want to so you could take something that you love and use that and then take it back and put it back in its place the important thing is that you have a variety of things and that you have more than one. So if you're gonna use a pencil, do you have five pencils, 10 pencils? Something like that Is the, are the objects that we're looking for. Maybe erasers, pencils, leaves, rocks. I'm gonna show you some of the things that, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the things I have, but I'm also looking forward to see what you can discover in your home, what, what you can find inspiring in your home. Are we ready to start? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we should maybe we should break the ice and just chat a little bit. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. Wonderful. Cool. I like those answers. Can can I know a little bit more what's so good and wonderful about your life or your today or your week? <laughs> Yes, I agree. I also really love the warm weather. I'm like, I'm starting to sweat, but I remind myself I love this. It's better than a million jackets and a cold nose. For me. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh oh. Have you guys figured out how to unmute yourselves yet? on this so so we can take turns there's there's that um those three buttons on the bottom there's the call that's that's like a phone and it's red and there's there's this one to the left of it and that's the mute if you press it it turns red you're on mute now yeah right i'm muted there you go but if i press it again i'm unmuted so anyone else un unmute themselves and can tell us a little bit about what's going on in their life? Life is good. No, yeah. Yeah, not Life is good. It's open. We're getting better every day. Wonderful. Can you can you share some things about what you're doing to get better every day? Oh, we go to the park, the same garden every day. We go to the water fountain. We go to um, we went to a picnic yesterday Yay. at um, they living at the park. Right, we went by the riverside. Mm. And we went to get some Popeyes. Ooh, uh, that's that's definitely yeah quite a few nice things in your life congratulations some smoothies from brit brit's favorite smoothies we made some smoothies Ooh. Ooh. yeah i'm learning how to make smoothies too yeah i agree it's it's the perfect season for fruits to be in our area and just put them in smoothies get some ice especially fruit salad <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Faye and House. That's definitely excellent. A good a good way to put 
good positive things in your day and in your life and body. Smoothies, park, nature, see your friends. <laughs> okay, and that's kind of our focus for today too. Doing and using some things around us to, to bring smiles, to enjoy what's around us. All right, so today we are going to talk about mandalas. Has anyone heard of that word before? Mandala? Yeah, I see some hands. All right, so the word mandala, it's an old Indian word from an old language called Sanskrit. And in our language, English, it means circle. Can anyone say anything about what is a circle? It's round. It's infinite. Infinite. Yeah. I like those. It's a shape. The shape. Beautiful. Yes. Those are all great answers. So let's say that ancient Indian word together, mandala. Mandala. Once more. Mandala. mandala. Yeah. Okay. So the circle or the mandala represents the idea that everything is one. Everything is connected or whole. Just like that idea of round, the infinite. It keeps going. And there's some good things, there's some benefits in seeing that, in seeing that unity in oneness, okay? Sometimes we feel alone, especially in this time where we're doing this isolation, right? You have no idea what's going on until now. I see, I see a few people in this chat and now we're kind of connected, we're kind of one. So that helps me see the bigger picture. So that's a good thing about a mandala. It, it can help us expand and see the bigger picture. And at the same time, it can also help you understand smaller things, more details, appreciate smaller things better because you can break things down. And so it's not so, oh my goodness, what's going on, right? I can just talk to you one on one. I, and you can also see it as a reward. Let's say if Monday, I always, if Monday I eat salad and that's my hard thing to do, then maybe I'll give myself a reward in the afternoon, some ice cream. If I do that every day, you know, you can, you can break it down instead of just saying, oh, I can never eat salad. Whatever is your goal, you can look at it in a big view and a small view. And a mandala you're gonna see is gonna remind us of that. It's gonna remind us of the things, how they are connected, how they expand or, or go within. So we are gonna start with our bodies. I'm gonna ask you to stand up, please everyone. Just make sure you have a little bit of room, you know, to, to stretch out. That's kind of what we're going to do. And we're going to start with a finger. Pick one of your fingers. Pick one of your fingers. And you are going to make a circle with it. Make a mandala with it. Okay? Just use that finger. Let that finger do that shape. Try to use only your finger. Even though your finger is connected to all your body, try to only move your finger. And now we're gonna we're gonna bring it, expand it a little bit, and we're gonna use our hand. Okay? So rotate your hand 
in a circle shape, in a mandala shape. Yeah, you can do both. And just, just feel that. Feel that. It's, it's smooth. It's round. You could go and for, do it forever. That never-endingness. It can feel silly watching all of us do this. But it's nice to see everyone in unity doing the same thing. All right, let's move it to the arms. Maybe just one arm. And this is great exercise also for drawing too, because these are all the body parts that you use for drawing. So the circles are getting bigger. The mandalas are getting bigger. Right, there's this expansion. And last, let's use our whole body. Just don't get too dizzy. All right. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Now you can go back and sit down, relax. Maybe drink some water if that was too sweaty. Okay, okay, so let's start our project. We are going to take our pen and paper and we are going to write our name and the date on the back because it's important to, to keep, it, keep it somewhere if we use it again if, so we want to remember when we did it. Let's take our paper, right? Everyone, can you show me your sheet of paper? And we're going to fold it in half, okay? Let's fold our sheet of paper in half. And it doesn't matter which way you fold it because now we're going to fold it in half once more. Okay? We're going to fold it in half once more. Now that we folded our paper, we're going to open it up. We're going to look at the blank area and you're going to see that you have some folds on your paper, right? Where you folded them. And they're going to connect at a point, okay? The lines are, the folds are gonna overlap. That's gonna be our center of our paper. That's gonna be the center point. The center point is a good starting point for making a mandala. So we're gonna take our pen and just put a dot there. Just, just put a dot at the center. Right. Did everyone make a dot at the center? Were you able to find where the folds meet? There it is. That's my center. And the next step is you're going to draw a circle around your center point. Okay. You're gonna draw a circle around your center point. Ourselves, that that is the center point. There, folds, where the folds connect, that's our center point. Beautiful, you got it, great job. See it. And the next step is we're gonna expand that center point with circles. So we're gonna draw a circle around the center point. Awesome. 
and you're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep drawing circles. You can start large, you can start small. Just keep filling it up with circles. That's creating a mandala. So, yes, I'm going to end up having a shape like this, something like this. You might have more circles, less circles. You might have more space than me in another one. It's okay. This one's yours. A temper. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Keep going. Keep on. Beautiful. Yes, I love it. Yes. I'm excited. Good job. I think I'm going to add a few more lines to mine too. A few more circles. Okay. Make sure that your circles are expanding to the edge, to the edge of your paper. So do as many as you can. You're filling up your space. Okay. So, like this far? Beautiful. Yes, you got it. And now I just want to take a moment and look at your work, look at what you did and appreciate it because we know this word perfect right perfect and there's something perfect about what you just did really because if you if you think about the center point to one of the edges of your circle they're all the same length so if i have a ruler and i want to measure this length to that length it, in a circle, it's always going to be the same. So that's something perfect. And it feels good to make something perfect, right? We all want to feel like it's, it's right, it's the best. So you just did that. You made something perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. And the next thing is I might need a hand with Perk. How do I show them um, those images? I see it. Do you guys see it? So it's not going to be where you're seeing me. It's going to be on a different screen. What do you see? What do I call those? Kiwi? Yeah, I heard it. I heard it a few times. Anything else you see? To describe, to describe that image? It's a fruit. <laughs> it's a fruit. Yes. It's a fruit. Oh, it's a fruit. Uh, Black seed around it. Beautiful. Good job. It's a circle. It's a circle, yes. Which is a... <laughs> Mandala. Our word, our ancient word for today, mandala. 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 Yeah. Even the seeds, the seeds are circles. So each little circle is part of a bigger circle, just like in your drawing. What what do you think about what do you feel when you when you think about a kiwi? Yum. Yes, yes, so you think about the taste, right? Those taste buds, the sense of taste with your mouth. All right, wonderful. Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> Me too. You just gotta cheer for Kirk. Kirk. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and some I love fireworks. Yes, what what do you love about fireworks? Pretty different colors. The colors. They're all different colors. All so different colors. Yeah. So first we were thinking about a kiwi, right? A small 
green, delicious kiwi that fits in my hand. And now we're thinking about this giant firework up in the sky, right? With colors, with sound. So there's different ways to think about this mandala, this circle. You can think about it with your taste buds. You can think about it with sound, with what you see. It's all around us. Where have you seen a firework? Where have you seen fireworks? The 4th of July. During your game. Oh, yes, yes. Usually they are for celebrations. 4th of July. Yeah, beautiful. That's coming up. So we can think about that when we hear or see some fireworks pretty soon. All right, I think we're ready for number three. Yeah. How many? Flower. Yeah, it's flower. Flower. Yeah, I hear. I hear pretty. What are some things you can do with a flower to enjoy it? Smell it. Plant it. There you go. That's another sense. Yes. Beautiful. And you can see. This is a good example of the color. The colors in the mandala expanding, right? You see kind of like a green, yellow in the center, then some brown. What other colors do you see? Pink. Gosh, what do you see? Pink, right? Yeah, some pinky red, yeah. Ooh, there you go, close up. Some purple too. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. green in the middle. Yes. So when you see this picture, you can also think about the smell of a flower. Just like when we saw the firework, you can think of the sound. All of those things are are just they're good to feel they're good to connect to when you're having a moment that you don't know you know you're not happy with what you're feeling try to connect to something else positive like this just simply seeing how it connects both in the big picture and in the small detail okay next one Okay. Play. So this is actually a piece of art. It's a picture of a piece of art of an artist called James Brunt. And his work is very much using the shape of a mandala and the repetition. Yeah, here he's using rocks or stones and he chose them to be all the same colors. I think this one's pretty cool because he's expanding um, horizontally, but he's also expanding vertically. And we got one more. This is another piece by James Brunt. What? I like that. Right, yeah, I agree. That's why it's our like finishing piece. What, what do you think this is or what do you see? How does it make you feel? I hear you like it. We painted it green. Different shades of green. Different shades of green. There you go. Some detail. There are lots of green, but different types of green. Anyone else? What do you see or feel here? Yellow. What do you think he's using? I'm playing with the water fire. <laughs> it's leaves. Different kinds of leaves, brown All and green leaves. Different leaves. Yes. And so he's using nature. He's using free found objects that we see every day. That's, that's special because sometimes we, we forget or we take for granted the, the every day and it becomes kind of heavy, but if you play with it, if you use it in a different way, 
you can enjoy it. You can say, wow, that's beautiful. That looks so beautiful. That smells so delicious. That makes me feel, you know, something great. Or I made that. Okay, so that's kind of also what we're going to use this idea of mandala. You can easily take a sheet of paper and, and uh, map out to expand. So now, here's where we're going to take our materials. I'm going to show you some of the things that I have. Um, you've seen some examples in our everyday life and with an artist. Um, so you're going to take some objects and you're going to use this as a map to create your own mandala. What I got? I got some popsicle sticks. All right, some nice long lines. I got these um, <laughs> tartar sauce packets that should probably be in the trash. So I think, well, let's see if I can do something with them. I picked them because I like the color. I like this teal color. I also have some scrap tissue paper. So what I was thinking about this is just ripping, ripping a few pieces of it. So these are the kinds of things that you can look for around your home. Scrap paper of different colors. We see you, we hear you. Rocks, rocks from outside, sticks, I also like the found outside objects. So really you can use anything as long as it's pretty small so it fits on your paper and as long as you have a few of the same object. So I'm going to give you some time to look around your area and see what you can find. So feel free to just stand up and look for some things. I'm going to continue with what I got to give you guys some ideas. Forks. Scrap black paper. We have some clovers and little flowers. I even brought some grass, you know, so you can really use any, you don't need so many things. I just, I have lots of options here. I try to pick some different colors and different shapes. Um, leaves. How do we feel about materials? Do you guys feel ready with what you got? Do you guys need more time to find materials? Do you want to get started and see what I come up with and then take your time to do your own? All right, I want this to be my center point. I'm gonna start by marking my center with this bright pink. I'm just gonna put it right there in the center. And I'm not gluing anything down. I'm just, I'm gonna enjoy putting it down. You can think about putting things as up, down, north, south, left, right. Gotta use the tartar sauce packets. I have three of those. I'll have this kind of like triangle to it. Some 
green in here. And as you're doing this, you really get this sense of how everything is connected, how everything is in unity, the pattern or repetition. Can you guys see what I'm doing? project you can do and you don't have to do it on a piece of paper you can go outside to your backyard you can go on a table and just visualize a mandala visualize a circle and let it grow with the things around you have fun look at it and then you know put them back take a picture share it it would be really cool if you guys make some and take a picture so we can see what what you can create what's maybe what's important to you right I pick these objects so they're somehow interesting or important to me anything else on my page and I think I have a variety of colors so that's kind of what makes me happy I'm gonna try to show it the best that I can to you guys without anything dropping yes there's no right or wrong you know I can make it go away and then just play with it all over again and it I'd say it feels good it feels good to put all these things together and we're gonna end with one more physical activity so I'm gonna ask you to stand up once more and this time we're gonna take our hands and put them in in the, our center point okay kind of like in the middle of our chest right here just flat Okay, I'm going to ask you to breathe in and now you're going to breathe out as you open your hands out. Extend your arms out. And one more time. In. So if you you feel, you know, any, you want to do something, you don't know what to do. This is something that you can do. Feel yourself within, feel yourself grow. Breathing in and out. I want to thank all of you guys for joining and being so patient for answering some of my questions and participating. It's really nice to see you guys and I hope you guys make your own mandalas. I'd love to see them. Beautiful. Yeah.